Hello and welcome to another video of Calc Nerd. So today I'm going to be showing you some more advanced drawing things that I did not show off in the first video. This includes, which I should have probably put in the first video, erasing, uh, how to draw certain lines, how to save a picture, and uh, updated version of circles. So let's get right into it. So to draw, what you must do is go to, pro well, don't hit the program button, hit second program, which has draw above it. Then you're gonna wanna clear draw unless you have a picture that you wanna save or something like that. I don't know what you have on there. So you can clear draw if you want. I personally don't have anything on there right now, but I do have a picture saved. So I'll show you how to save a picture and recall it to further edit it and stuff. So now let's dive right into the different things that you can do. So second draw, or actually I showed this on the first video and I almost forgot about it. So before you draw, you're gonna to wanna to go to second format, make sure your coordinates are off and your axes are off. You can turn grid off if you want. I personally don't, you can if you really feel like it. So we're gonna go back into draw first thing so I cleared it, now I'm gonna to go to pen. And the pen, you can go all the directions like I showed in the first video. If you haven't seen that, you might wanna check that out because that has a, well, I mean, this is the advanced one so it'll have more information. But anyway, um, another thing that's useful is line. So line, what you can do is go like, Let's say I want to make a line from here. It'll put a square where the beginning of the line is. And then I want the line to go all the way over to the right here. And then boom, you have a line just like that. And it's fairly straight. I mean, it has little bumps in it and stuff, but that's, you can't have straight angles with pixels. So, yeah. Um, then, I'm going to show off circle again, because I actually figured out I made a mistake in the first video. So to do circle, what you do is that's actually the center the first time you hit enter, and the second time you hit enter is where another edge is going to be. So I'll show you that again. So I want the center to be right in the center of this guy right here, and then I want to the edge to be there, so you can make like a little target. I don't really know what I'm making right now. So just remember you select the center, then you select an edge. So that's kind of like a little bullseye or something like that. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to erase, which can be very helpful. So, well, this is my version of erasing at least. There could be a better one that I don't know about, but this is what I just discovered a little while ago. So you go to point off, which is when you go to draw second program, which is draw, you go over one and you go to point off and it allows you to have the cursor so you can move around freely on the screen. And then I'm going to go over to here, right where this is and you just click enter to erase a point, the point where you're right at. So that's basically how you can erase. And I missed one there. So I'm just going over and clicking enter every time. There may be a more efficient way of doing this, but this is the uh, best way that I know of currently. So I won't finish erasing all that. So now I believe one of the only things that I was thinking about showing off in this video is how you can store a picture. So first of all, I'm going to recall pick and it's one. So, okay, well, it recalled the picture. It's right there. Um, so if you wanna recall the picture and have nothing else on the screen, first thing you wanna do is clear draw. Then I'm going to recall the picture. Recall pick. Oh, whoops. And you have to put the number of the picture that you want to recall. So there is my tank that I drew, which is uh, on the banner thing or whatever you call that of my channel. So yeah, that's kind of cool. 
And anyway, now you can edit this picture freely. So now we're gonna show you how to store a picture. So I'm going to uh, just clear that. So you just go to store, store pick. So whatever was on your screen right when you went to this store pick is what it's going to store. Then you give it a number one to nine. If, you, if I did one, it would replace the other one or it might give me an argument error, which it didn't. So now this is stored to picture one. So anytime I wanna bring that up, so if I go clear draw, now that I have it stored, it's done clear and draw, I can just go store recall pick one and it'll pop up. So you can have a picture to edit all the time or if you have something that you'd like to bring up a lot, that's how you can do that. So anyway, that's really um, all I had, I think, for this video. Um, if you want to learn more about what all these different things do, you can uh, check out a link I have in the description and you just use the little search bar that's on the website and you can uh, search pretty much anything. It's the TI Basic Developer. They have a rich depository of pretty much everything you can do on your calculator. So it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, subscribe and I hope you have fun drawing on your graphing calculator. If you have uh, any really cool pictures, please put them down in the comments or send them or something. Just get them to me so I can see and I will hopefully bring another cool video coming up next. So thank you and goodbye.